Hello, I'm Hunter Hogue. Um, we're doing the electric skateboard. Sorry if I sound weird, I'm a little sick. Um, I handled the battery and motor subsystems, um, and those interact with a microcontroller, which Pui did, and a little bit of the app through the microcontroller. So, hi, I'm ZJ Mai. So, I'm taking charge of the radar sensor system and also the solar light sensor the system. Uh, it was interact with the microcontroller and also interact with the power system done by Hunter. Hello, my name is Puya Chen and I am in charge of the microcontroller and the Bluetooth subsystems. Uh, the microcontroller interacts with almost every single part and then the Bluetooth also interacts with the app that Anthony is working on. Hi, I'm Anthony Fei. I work on the app. So the app mainly interfaces with the microcontroller and it will send and receive data through the microcontroller to control the rest of the system, such as the headlights, the speed, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, come. All right, so I'm gonna be showing off it like turning on and working. So we can see that when we turn it on, all the lights turn on. That means that the five volt and the 3.3 .3 volt are supplying the right thing. And the LED flashing means that the Bluetooth is on, but it is not connected. So Anthony will connect to it right now. And now that the LED is solid, it is connected. And with that, um, if you press forward, um, the motor will run in one direction. And then if you let go, it will go in a free spin and you will be able to free spin it. And then if you hold backwards, um, it goes in the opposite direction, which will be used for braking as you're going forward and you make it go backwards, it will break. And then if you keep holding backwards, we can see that the brake light does turn on as you're holding backwards. Hi everyone, so this is the radar sensor system of our skateboard. So it basically contains uh, two indicate light. One is the yellow light and the one is the red light, which also connected to the buzzer. And the front one was a uh, uh, radar detectant. So the yellow light will be uh, shine. It will be turned on when the ob obstacle was t about two and a half meters, and the red light will be turned on about two meters away. So I will demonstrate it with uh, later. When I move closer, so right now it's about two and a half meters, so the yellow light will be turned on. And then when I move a little bit closer, the red light and the buzzer will be turned on automatically. And then it will always go turn on both the lights. So hi everyone, the, the black box on the left side is the solar light subsystem. So we have two uh, LDRs, we can detect the brightness of the sunlight. And then it will automatically turn on the headlights of the skateboard. So right now if we just cover one of them, it's not gonna like it will not turn on the, the headlight and if I cover none of them it will not turn on the headlight as well but if I cover both of the headlight and then the headlight of the skateboard will be turned on so here's the right screen of the app and if we press the connect button uh, there will be a bluetooth pairing request to which I press OK. I entered the password. And if you look at the non flashing light, that means that it has connected to my phone. So now, if I press the start right button, I will enter into this uh, control screen. And if I press the green button, it will move forward. If I press the red button, it will move backward. And if I press end ride, Uh, here you can see that my last ride has been recorded in an uh, image. And if I go to the statistics page, I will be able to see the new trip that I just finished. Now, if you look at the parameters on the top, we have the date, the distance, the duration, and the location. So the location parameter is uh, a bit wonky, but it should be electrical engineering. The 445481 is just uh, more precise. The duration is zero seconds because we haven't moved. So how I did the duration was that 
if you moved every 10 meters, um, it would keep going. But if you're not moving, then the duration would always just be zero seconds. And on the last page, we have the settings. So here are just two um, setting buttons you could turn on and off. And that's it. And here on the top, we have a button for the headlights. So I, if I press uh, if I press this button, it's three different modes, auto, on, and off. And over here, we have the display for the battery. In the map image, you can see that I traveled from the electrical engineering building to somewhere on West Fowler Avenue. On the top, we have the location to another entry that has not been expanded. The location here is Neu Hall of Technology. This is our PCB design for the bar converter and the Bluetooth microcontroller. Uh, the blue one was the bar converter and the yellow one was the microcontroller. And then this is the PCB design for the solar lights subsystems. And this is the PCB design for the radar sensor distance subsystems.